is January 25th and it's a day four. Let's start off your day with some news. A 14 year old boy was stabbed in the back Saturday near the parking deck at Destiny USA. The stabbing was reported at the bus stop entrance between Macy's and J.C. Penney around 8.08 p.m. The boy was found conscious and breathing, but with a knife sticking out of his back. He was taken to the upstate hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. At least 10 workers have been killed in a gold mine explosion in, Sa in China's Shandong province last Sunday. 11 other workers have been rescued after trapped being trapped in the mine for two weeks. There were two mine explosions, each an hour and a half apart. The nine workers were discovered 400 meters underground, and one worker, who was presumed to be dead, is still missing. Authorities have detained the mine managers for not reporting the incident sooner. Our hearts are deeply grieved. We express our profound condolences, said Chen Fei, the mayor of Yantai City, where the mine is located. Chen and other officials held a moment of silence for the victims at the press conference held Monday morning. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We want you for the class of 2021 Senior Variety Show. We are in the planning stages of creating this year's show. All seniors will be receiving a Google Form survey via email from your Variety Show advisors, Mrs. DeBurgis and Mrs. Kakamo, later this afternoon. We would appreciate you filling out the form on or before Friday, January 29th. If you have any questions regarding this year's Senior Variety Show, you can also see and or email either Mrs. DeBurgis or Mrs. Kakamo. Did you miss an episode of Spartan News? Want to stay connected? Make sure to check us out at www.esnschools.org sn. Now on to weather. Today, on Monday, we will have some sun, 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 sun clouds with a high of 28 and a low of 17 degrees, starting a very cold week. On Tuesday, snow will start, start developing after 8 a.m. with a high of 29 and a low of 22, being the warmest day of the week. Wednesday, we'll have morning flurries with a high of 28 and a low of 14 degrees, and Thursday, we'll have some sun Sorry, but we'll, we'll have some snow with a high of 22 and a low of 7 degrees. Friday, we'll have a little snow with a high of 14 and a low of 5 degrees, being the coldest day of the week. Saturday will be a little warmer than Friday, and Sunday will start to keep getting warmer. And I'm Grayson with your weather. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Green Bay Packers 31-26 to and will become the first team in NFL history to play in a Super Bowl at their home field. They'll be playing against the Kansas City Chiefs after the Chiefs beat the Buffalo Bills 38-24. to I'm Aiden with your sports. From Aiden, myself, and everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day.